Hey gangsters, I am getting a top up on some coffee and we're about to get settled in and play this week's game. Um, using my phone this time because I feel kind of lazy and uh, yeah. <laughs> so what is uh, this week's game? You might ask. Well, uh, I felt like kind of a nostalgia kick. If you've been following the art, you know I've been doing a lot of stuff uh, based on like Warhammer, which I'm working for right now. But also um, a little game called World of Warcraft. And what we're going to do is we are actually going to play World of Warcraft Classic, which came out last year. And... It's basically vanilla World of Warcraft. It's World of Warcraft as it was in 2004, whenever I was obsessed with it, whenever I was super into it. Um, yeah, I'm very excited about digging in. I haven't dug in yet. It's only been out for about a year. Uh, but yeah, let's see if that nostalgia holds up, man. Uh, yeah, let's do it. here on the desktop right here amazing beautiful iron forge nostalgia art from connor sheehan um amazing stuff uh senior concept artist and just to get that mood just to get that mood that's iron forge right there kids um y'all y'all might know about that but do you know about the 2004 version because right you know i re up my wow sub yesterday for the first time since legion's release so it's been quite a while um, but there's a World of Warcraft icon right here, but then there's a World of Warcraft classic, and that's what we're going to be looking at. I have not even booted this up before. I haven't loaded it. I saved it for this episode. Um, I installed it. That's all I did. We are going to remake my exact first character that I made back in launch in November of 2004. Uh, yeah, man, like, so this is funny. This is sort of Blizzard's version, or one of their versions, I should say, of, like, the SNES Minute. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, this is going to be great. Uh, Let's see. I I'm going to do Azure Song. I know I don't do PvP servers. I'm not that hardcore. I wasn't that hardcore back in the day either. Um, hey, Discord. S it's such a weird. <laughs> oh man, uh, it's such a weird deal. Uh, so this is basically, in my opinion, Blizzard's version of like the SNES Mini, uh, you know, Genesis Mini. Cause they've done anniversary collections and HD stuff of like StarCraft and which I have and I love it and you know and then the Warcraft 3 one came out and that's been different um, the reception's been a little different on that one but this is World of Warcraft as we knew it in 2004 but things like the text is upgraded because I want to say 2004 was 16 by 9 a standard then? Or did we still have the old clunky 4x3 CRT monitors? Maybe. So, it got to roll me. My my main one. Um, I got a rogue. Here we go. See, now it's like... Okay, there it is, yeah. Face. Let's see. So yeah, I have played World of Warcraft off and on since launch. Something like that. Okay. And then of course the hairstyle. No, it was that one. And then hair color. There it is. There's your boy. Um and then the name. I wonder will it even let me have the name that I want to say Icewind or Icewind Dale 
big Salvatore fan. Um, Lance Rogue. That name is unavailable, of course it is. Uh, okay, so we're gonna we're gonna kind of mix. We're gonna time travel a little bit. We're gonna do a little. Uh, <laughs> let's do. I mean, we got to do it to him, right? Let's just do it. Let's bring it. Let's bring it to current day. Let's bring it to current day. Ah, oh, there he is. There he is, man. So I did some fan art of this guy uh, last night, actually, and posted it. I might show it up here real quick on the side. Um, it's called Hello Old Friend, and because uh, I knew I was going to be recording this. Uh, yeah, man. So this is so surreal to see the trees looking like this and the, oh, and the old loading screens. Yeah, I'm in, dude. <laughs> I'm into this already. Uh... For 10,000 years, the immortal Night Elves cultivated a druidic society within the shadowed recesses of Ashenvale Forest. Yet recently, the catastrophic invasion of the Burning Legion shattered the tranquility of their ancient civilization. Led by the arc druid Malfurion Stormrage and the priestess Tyranda Whisperwind, the mighty Night Elves rose to challenge the demonic onslaught. Though victorious, the Night Elves were forced to sacrifice their cherished immortality and watch their beloved forests burn. Seeking to regain their immortality, a number of wayward druids conspired to plant a special tree that would link their spirits to the eternal world. Despite Malfurion's warnings that nature would never bless such a selfish act, the druids planted the great tree Teldrassil off the stormy coasts of northern Kalimdor. Within the twilight boughs of the colossal tree, the wondrous city of Darnassus took root. However, the great tree was not consecrated with nature's blessing and soon fell prey to the corruption of the burning legion. Now, the wildlife and even the limbs of the great tree itself are tainted by a growing darkness. As one of the few night elves still left in the world, it is your sworn duty to defend Darnassus and the wild children of nature against the Legion's encroaching corruption. Oh my goodness. Okay. I, I didn't want to talk to her in any of that, because Oh, right in the fields, man. It's a, uh, it's amazing to me how much of it just starts flooding back. Um you know, I've I've played through a lot of uh, you know I played through a lot of the expansions. I, I kind of did drop off at Legion. Um, didn't really play Battle for Azeroth. That's actually why I re-upped now for my actual version of uh, or I guess the live version of World of Warcraft is now Battle for Azeroth is part of your monthly subscription. You don't have to buy it separate uh, because Shadowlands is coming out probably in the next few weeks, month ish um that's so funny uh so yeah this is this this might get a little emotional i'm gonna be telling some stories um um about playing world of warcraft and it almost feels like a different life because this is what 15 years ago 16 years ago i'm 30 how old am i 34 now so, I mean, this was, oh my gosh, this was college. I mean, the, to, to me, easily, without a shadow of a doubt, World of Warcraft is the game I've played the most in my life. Like, no doubt, there's, I mean, probably thousands of hours. Um, oh, even the text, dude. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, all right. So... Yeah, thousands of hours on this. Um, Servidor, um, even the way old text comes up with the writing sound. Kill seven young night sabers and four young thistle boars and return to Conservador. You'll be able to get one of these. Oh, we're getting the 21 armor for sure, bro. May the um, you. Oh, and the same sound. 
<laughs> I wasn't actually ready for this, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think I was ready. Okay, so something interesting about this is now World of Warcraft, the live version, you know, Battle for Azeroth, all that stuff, you have a lot of hint markers, uh, kind of, hey, the, check out this area, here's where your quest stuff is, you can track stuff on the side. It has stuff like looking for group, um, you can just click a few buttons, get into a raid. Um, not here. Uh, this, this is way slower, this is more of a, it's about the journey, not the destination type thing. And, uh, and you'll also see, let me... Are the, are the buttons still the same? You can open your quest log. Clicking on the gold chalice in the middle of the bar across the bottom of the screen. Um, so right there. Okay, so L for log. I got you. Targeting, yes. Quest givers, yes. Movement, yes. Actually, let's get rid of the tips. Okay, so young Thistlebore slain. So another thing, there's young Thistlebore. What you'll notice if you look at the lower right, it doesn't say, like, you've killed... Zero out of four of these whenever I hover over. Um, see if I remember my super difficult uh, rotation as as a rogue. Basically, what you do is you build up combo points. Um, you Sinister Strike. These combo points come up. As these points come up... You eviscerate. That's it. It's a two button <laughs> for for however many levels, man. That's gonna be my rotation. Is two buttons. You can do blade f flurry, I think. And that. Oh man, that was uh. That comes later though. That comes at like level twenty or thirty. All right. So, God, even the rotation is bringing back memories, man. Because I just remember going hitting two and three, two and three, forever. <laughs> Which sounds monotonous, but there's something oddly soothing about it. There's a nice, uh, something soothing about it. So... Yeah, one of my one of my favorite World of Warcraft stories. One I gotta give a shout out to my good pal Peyton, man. He was uh me and him were super tight in college. Still still pretty tight now, still on the social media together, hanging out and stuff. Um he's super successful at doing off Broadway shows and I think he's on Broadway now. Let me know, bro. Um crushing it, super talented guy. Uh, him and I waited and, or no, we didn't even have to wait in line. We went launch day after our classes uh, to Best Buy. It was the Best Buy in Oklahoma City. Um, we both went to Oklahoma City University and, sorry, got my coffee. Um, yeah, went to Best Buy and just bought it up. It was that classic. I pointed at the, um, little poster I have of that first box. Um, it was that box, man. It was that box. And we both got it. Uh, he had his Mac laptop for school. I had uh, my big old clunky. I want to say it was like an Acer. I, I, I think Gateway was already gone and dead by that time. But uh, I think, yeah, my Acer um, that I had in my dorm. So we went, we installed it. And him and I started playing. We found each other. Uh, I think we each rolled a different... Um, we both, we rolled Alliance, I know that for a fact, because, hell, uh, I was, you know, doing this. But, uh, we had to get past our opening areas, and then, like, meet each other. So we had to, like, look at the map and be like, where are you? Well, what is that? Well, what is, what's over here? Because there wasn't really any information online yet, you know? I mean, that was still, let's see, how many do I have? Okay, 407, 204. I still got some. Um... So we, we met up and we're like, oh man, this is great. Look at our character. We can jump and we can see each other jump. And like, we had both had experience with MMOs. Like, I had played EverQuest before, so the it wasn't lost on me. Like, the, the whole mechanics of the game and everything. But everything just felt better, um, faster, I guess. Um, I was already 
a fan of rotations and stuff, I would always play either a ranger or a rogue slash thief type character in MMOs such as EverQuest or Ultima Online. But this was different because we knew Warcraft. We loved Warcraft, Warcraft 3, um, Frozen Throne. Uh, we just loved Blizzard uh, and still do. But it, it was different then. It really was. And we did that. And then our good friend Doug, uh, we he got the game as well. And he was like, bro, was like, where are you? And he had rolled a wholly different character, right? Like, or he, he rolled something that we had to go travel. So we spent the next... Oh my gosh. Uh, we, we promised to meet halfway. Yay, level two. Um, we promised to meet halfway. So... We took... Ten hours? I mean, no exactly. It was ten, twelve hours. Something like that. I was very irresponsible to skip class that day. I actually skipped a lot of class then. Uh, <laughs> um, and we met him. It was one of those things that we went through places like the Wetlands, which is like a level 40 area as level 2s and 3s. So we were like looking out, man. We, we me and Peyton, uh, we would buy meals, we would scrounge up enough coin to get that stuff, and then we would go this like cross continental trek. And then we met up with Doug. And uh, ever since, like, it, man, and Doug got great at this. He was part of a lot, he'll have to put it in the comments, but part of one of like the top 10 raiding guilds in classic World of Warcraft and Burning Crusade, like in the world, um, was it Raven's Claw? I can't remember the names of that stuff because it has been 15 years, uh, <laughs> but all right, so now we... And you'll see that. It didn't say... Um, Ishnuala. All that, Farewell. so... Let's go there. Hey, he clapped. Thanks, bro. So we're going to get both of these. Oh, look at that. You got to wait. You got to wait for him to finish. <laughs> you got to wait for him to finish talking. of the force. So this is a much, uh, you know, this and Burning Crusade. So I, I didn't get Burning Crusade at launch. Um, I kind of fell off because I wasn't big into endgame. I wasn't big into rating. I just wanted to get up to uh, level 60. I wanted to get a mount. After I got a mount, I was kind of done. I was like, all right, I got what I wanted. Um, I think you can get that at level 40. Uh, you can get your standard mount at level 40 and then your, uh, I guess, epic mount. Is that what it was called? Back at 60. Hey, there's more thistle boars and more night sabers. Um, five. Okay, and then belt. All right, so we got those. Gotcha. So that's complete. Um, gotta get those. All right. So let me go to bag. Look how tiny these bags are, bro. Got the pants. Oh, that's right. Durability. Oh man. Got my gloves. Got my feets. <laughs> uh, can't do that. No, no. Don't need those. Got my hunk of bread. Right to read. All right. Find you Shadowlands, Great Tree of Eldrassil. The training lessons. Okay. Stealth remain even closer to one another. I also will be able to protect Teldrassil and our ways. Find me when you can. The Rogue Trainer. Oh yeah. So I think I started getting all the cool rogue stuff at level 10. If I remember right. Um, Alright. Sinister Strike. Sinister Strike. Sinister Strike. Eviscerate. And if I remember right, uh, one of the main differences between retail World of Warcraft and, or I should say live or current World of Warcraft, and this is uh, with these combo points, they only stayed applied to the mob um, here in Classic. So it was only like that enemy. 
But in live, basically, you can build up combo points and then go to another mob and your combo points are still there. Um, I think these are not the right ones. I need to go a little further out, I think. Let me see. Yeah. Mangy Night Saber and the standard Thistle Boar. So... Still resources, killing nature. Venture into the forest and slay. Okay. In the name of balance. So, a venture in the forest means I probably gotta go this way, right? I gotta go a little further out. Young Knight Sabres. God, I love the fact that they upped the resolution on the stuff. But they kept the resources um, and the actual assets like lower fidelity. Stolen our delivery. Go in peace. God, even the text looking like this is throwing me for a loop, man. I mean, that's. It's funny what your brain remembers, you know? And see, I with this, I don't, I don't need. Oh, these are level five. Oh shit, nope, nope, I'm out. Um, it's funny, yeah, it's funny what your brain remembers. Because I thought, oh, seeing the cinematics and seeing the old school, uh, you know, like stuff before Cataclysm happened and Sylvanas goes crazy and all that stuff. Uh. Young night sabers, young, 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 young night saber. It's not the young night sabers, correct? Mangy night saber, young, young thistle boar, young night saber. Whoop! Young so worm. Well, let's find these. Let's find these. Maybe it's out here. There we go. Okay, there's a thistle boar. And there's a Greklin. All right. Grelkin. And then Young Knight Saber. But yeah, so there's a standard one. Need to get closer. But like the voices and stuff, like the text. I, I remember the sounds. The sounds of hearing that and then the nice turn your quest in dun dun dun. Type thing, and there we go. Mangy. Not but yeah, this is not gonna be my game. Of, I'm gonna power level, man. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna max out. I'm gonna. Like, I don't really care about that with this one. This is my relax game. This is my game where I can kick back and like transfer back 15 years and be like, ha, nice. You know, and I mean, it comes with your subscription, which is cool. Um, you, you don't have to buy it separate, you don't have to do anything different. Um, it just comes with it, so it's just a nice bonus to have. Now I will say, I will be going and trying to get all my decent gear and stuff for, uh... in the Battle for Azeroth stuff before Shadowlands hits. I will be doing that. Um, that might be a future video whenever we go and I don't have play some of that. Two to seven. Okay. Oh, so I guess whenever you get one of them, it the tracker pops up on how many you've had. Okay. But I do like the fact that it doesn't. You gotta kind of pay attention a little bit. You gotta. Is this a thistle war? Yes. Is that what I need? Yes. Like you gotta, you gotta check your stuff. Hey, tough jerky. All right. Four of seven. Get more splinter tusks. How much were the stacks? Could you stack up to like 20 items before it split? Something like that. It's funny now that I'm I'm kind of back on a, a blizzard kick because uh you know I got the hype of Shadowlands and I started uh, playing season 21 in Diablo. It's the first season I played since uh, season nine, so it's been a while. It really has. I don't have an 
<laughs> but this is comfort food. Nothing. Like, for me, this is... Oh, yeah, man. Look at me. Getting level three. I will say... The level 40 to 60 grind is freaking real, man. I mean, that would take... Oh, I remember. I, I remember doing uh, places like Ungoro Crater, which is fine, and you could actually get a few levels out of Ungoro Crater. But, God, it took so long. It took such a long time. But this is very much a game that you play for the feeling of accomplishment, not achievements. This was pre-achievement. Um, this was before WoW added any of that stuff. This is just pure on, go collect this, go do this, go run this dungeon, here's your gear, best of luck. Um, if you need, if you need something, ask in, like, local chat in the town that you're in. If you need something, uh, bought, oh, see, like, seeing people. It's so funny, man. Like, it, you think it's like it's not a big deal because you see people running around in an MMO all the time. But whenever you can't fly everywhere, whenever you can't teleport everywhere, and seeing other people running around is just mind blowing. It's like, oh, this is a world. Like, things are happening while I'm asleep. Things are happening. This place always is moving and shaking, and stuff is going on. And, uh, if you have FOMO, is full. oh my inventory is full, <laughs> cause my giant bag. Yeah, wait, well can't wear that. All right, do I need that? Oh wait, no, no, don't want that one. Um, seventeen armor. Yes, cool. Um, cool. Don't need that. Two armor. See, and there's no, like, I'm going to put the stats, and here's a bunch of green numbers, which means your stuff is, this one's better. Like, that's not, oh, I don't need to kill him, but I'll do it. This is where I, I learned the love of grinding mobs, to where I would find places that had good respawn rates, um, cause that type of stuff mattered, man. If you wanted to get maximum XP per hour, bro, you had to, you had to figure it out. You had to stack your quest correctly. You had to, you had to do that, you know? So here we go. I can't carry anymore. Can't carry that. Wait, what is this? 12 armor. What do I have? Um, for the wrist. Do I have anything on my wrist? Neck, head, shoulders, chest, tabard, finger. I guess they'd just be the... Oh, wait. No, I don't have anything. Hold on. Let me, um... Do you want to destroy? Yes. Got that. Cool. Alright. So now let me go back and turn in my stuff. I do have to find if somebody is selling or buying things. <laughs> Come back, bro. What's up, man? Yeah, I need to get herbalism. My big thing was um, I always liked the gathering professions, which apparently now, I guess, in live World of Warcraft, it's very... Uh, it's... Um, like, there's a lot of multi-boxers or something like that, which is basically one person owning many accounts and playing all of the accounts at the same time. Uh, there we go. There we go. Okay, let me get this right here. Hello? Hello. Hello. Um, but yeah, apparently all the gathering professions are kind of swamped right now. But in Classic... I hope that's not the case. God is watch over you. <clears throat> Ran in that fire, bro. Alright. I am listening. God, and like the voice kick off. That's great, man. I could see how people would pay 15 bucks a month just for this. I shall I mean, it is old. We have gotten much different. Um, oh, bow here. Cool. 
Hello. Feel free to browse. Hi. Um, I need you to buy that for me. And this for me. Oh man, I'm already up to one silver, baby. Making that money. Making that money. And you'll notice there's no button here to like auto, um, auto clean your bag, which is nice. So yeah, this is way slower. I dig it. I really do dig it. Um, it's less stress. Repair all items. That's right, you gotta repair them all. Um, so I want to say we can come up here. So cool. There we go. So you can see the little white dot on that right there, but hello. Yeah, 40, look at that. Let me do something real quick. Huh, <laughs> made me. Um, buh, 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 buh. Let me do sound, loop music, sound and background. Just like old times. I always wanted that ambience, you know what I mean? Turn the game. Boop. All right. Um, oh, so now I have to go back to Duder. You have to go back to Duder and turn this one in. Where was Duder? See, that is the one. I will, I will say that is the thing I'll have to get used to. Um, I think he was over here, right? Uh, is he over there? Oh, no, he's over there. Okay, cool. Here's a little spot. Uh, just remembering where stuff is and reading the quest and being like, Oh, it says it's in the cave to the north. Then go to the cave to the north. You know? Peace be with you. Oh, I must choose a reward. Um, that one. It's a slight upgrade. It's a slight upgrade, but hey, I'll take it. I will take it. Let's see. My what rep has increased by 100. Something evil is brewing in the forest of Teldrassil, if you only knew. Uh, <laughs> so, that is something, I guess, to bring up. is like, the world as it exists, not only just the real world, you know. Uh, 2004 seems like a, a, a glorious fever dream compared to 2020. But uh, the World of Warcraft, a lot of this doesn't... I mean, spoilers, I guess, but a lot of this doesn't even exist anymore. Just at all. I mean, after Cataclysm, things fundamentally changed. And then, apparently, Legion and Battle for Azeroth and stuff. Sylvanas lost her mind. Um, started just destroying places, man. Uh, Alright, yeah, I'll get those for sure. Hey, you want to go? Okay. Um... It, it's so weird to go back. It really does feel like a time machine. It's like, do you remember back whenever all of the places in Azeroth were still kind of intact? Like, I'm, I don't think we'll make it there during this playthrough or during this episode or whatever, but like, uh, I don't know how I'm going to feel whenever I see old school Ironforge. I don't know how I'm going to feel when I see, you know... <laughs> Barons. <laughs> Barons. Uh, Barons chat, man. Where's Mankirk's wife? Where's, oh, you know, yeah, Westfall? Yeah. Where, where is all that stuff? Uh, King of Shadow Glen. Alright. Oh, spiders. Venom. Okay, spiders and Earth. So this is, if you've never played World of Warcraft, if you've never, ever, ever played it, Did I think now is a great time to jump in. Because, one, you can play the live version... Um, 
standard retail version for free up to level 20, which will kind of let you know if this is for you, you know? Like, is this a game that you could see yourself playing uh, without dropping any money? Um, if it is, whenever you do get uh, sub subscribed, you get every expansion all the way up to Battle for Azeroth, which is the one... I, I didn't even buy Battle for Azeroth, but now I have it because I'm sub, which is awesome. Uh, that's years of content, and that's not, I'm not even exaggerating. Like, that is very much um, a ton to do. Like, I keep coming back to it from 2004, you know what I mean? And it's 15, 16 years later. And I haven't done, ne oh my god, I've done nothing, comparatively. Um, but then you also get this, and this is more of a, what were games like in 2004? What... It's so weird to have a time capsule that you can actually jump back into that's been archived by the people. And I know um, there used to be private servers. Like, was it Nostradamus? Was that one of the big ones? Um, but then, you know, Blizzard shut them down and then they made petitions and all that stuff. And then, but then we got WoW Classic. And I, I've really heard nothing but good stuff about WoW Classic. I think it is funny. The people that were all hardcore and stuff and they were like, oh man, yeah, I played uh, I played it back when it launched. And then they didn't. They came by, like, after Wrath of the Lich King. Or they started with, like, Mist of Pandaria. And they're like, wait, where's my, uh, where's my quest tracker? Like, hey, homie, <laughs> there ain't no quest tracker, son. You gotta, you gotta read. Um, speaking of, so Venom... I came to Shadow Glen to observe the Wedwood, their cousin, the much smaller, I believe, world trees were found effect. Okay. Okay. From the spiders in and around the Shadow Thread Cave to the north. See, that's all you get. That's all you get, son. Oh. I bet that is it, right there. I bet that's the cave. Let's go. Let's run north. Let's find these spiders. So this is just a super relaxing experience. Um, I, I think in the coming weeks I, I might do a live World of Warcraft uh, deal. I might even do a live stream because I think that'd be fun. Get people in, chat and stuff and kind of get some uh, get some quests under my belt, level up a little bit. Because they did a big number crunch. Normally you'd level up to level 120. But now they did the number crunch. They actually did it. So now everybody, all my characters are back to like level 45. Um, cap right now is level 50. And then after Shadowlands, the cap will be level 60. It's so funny that like, since you have to run everywhere, the, uh, the world is much smaller, but it feels so much bigger. <laughs> I don't have an energy. There we go. Uh, yay! That one. Oh, it's over here. Oh, there's a person. Hey there. person in Shadow Glen. Gotcha. But what we need to do, we need to get 10 of those webwood spiders. Uh, well, actually, I say we get 10 of them. That's probably not true. I bet they have a drop percent, like a percentage rate. So, like, I bet there's only like a 50% chance that they drop something. Which is another thing. They really streamline that stuff. So, in the newer... World of Warcraft, and even newer MMOs, 
normally if you find the uh, the thing that you need, they're going to drop the thing 100% of the time. I mean, we're on a 100% rate right now. So maybe. Maybe they've done the slight tweaks. That's poison enough energy. I'm poisoned. I don't have energy. Ah, see? Yep, didn't drop it. So yeah, there's a percentage chance they won't actually drop the stuff. So I'm trying to think of, because definitely my favorite World of Warcraft memory was hanging with uh, Peyton and Doug after doing our big trek. I want to say another one is really getting somewhere like Ironforge and seeing how huge that place is. Um, now I've been there a million times on my new characters flying in, dark now, you know, that type of stuff. So it kind of lost some of that magic, but I'm interested. I, there's gonna, I, I bet there's like a sense of reverence whenever you get there now. Because, I mean, look, if you're running everywhere, and I'm in freaking Night Elf land, and I'm in Darnassus, and then I'm going to go over and I'm going to go to the Eastern Kingdoms. You know what I mean? Like, that's a freaking journey. Um, it's a different deal. Those five out of ten. Holy chest! Not enough energy. I don't have enough energy. It's funny just watching the cooldowns down here. You know, skill and defense has increased. God, it's so weird to see that stuff. Not enough energy. So, um, some of you are probably asking, what are you going to roll? What, what spec are you rolling? Combat swords. No question will I be combat swords. Look how long it takes to open that chest, bro. Oh. So rude. So rude, spider. I don't have enough energy. Not enough energy. I don't have enough energy. Bam. Got you. 7 out of 10. Cool. Just got a few more left. Opening. See, I need to not pick up everything. I'm out but of I like the money. I like selling the stuff. I like uh, <laughs> I like that. It's a fun thing to do. Not enough energy. Not enough energy. Not enough energy. Not enough energy. So what you can do, I guess, to get their attention. Oh, that's a big one. Level five. Ooh. All right. Let's see, and they stay right there. There's someone that can run this other way. Oh, there's some. Okay, so let me throw. Get your attention. A little bit of something. But see, that doesn't build a combo point. That's fine, though. I guess it's the kite. Enough energy. God, kiting. Um, so kiting is whenever you see um, a mob that you want in a group, like close to one another. Because um, if they're red, if I remember right, if they're red, that means they aggro if you're close to them. So what you would do is you would stay far away. You would pull one at a time and make sure that you don't aggro the whole set. That was a big deal for uh, dungeons. Um, because as DPS, what you would want to do is you would kind of be the cannon fodder um, to pull things, then the tank would grab it. There we go. 10 out of 10. All right, we out of here. We out of here. I need to get closer. I don't have enough energy. Sorry, my eyes are just locked right down here to two and to three, you know. Bam! Not enough energy. I don't have enough energy. Not enough energy. Alright, so we 
we've got this. Now we just roll it back to where we were. Oh yeah, because we have to go give this over to Duder. Give this over to Duder. Yeah, this is very much a game about the journey, not the destination. Uh, there's something just wonderful about it. It's uh, this is my uh, maybe my favorite type of game is a nice, engrossing, slow burn, no stress, methodical type of game that has that sense of adventure. And I, and I think World of Warcraft, especially this era, this and Burning Crusade and Wrath of the Lich King, really solidified what that meant to me and the way I like I will compare MMOs to this day that is it as fun or is it as good as Wrath of the Lich King like is it if not then like well I'll probably play it for a bit but then I'll fall off like I have Elder Scrolls online play it for a bit fell off Guild Wars 2 um, I love that game but I keep falling off and there's something that's just not hooking me about it and I don't know what it is and it might it's probably not fair to compare it um it's probably not fair to compare it to World of Warcraft because it's its own thing, but I do. I mean, mentally, I just, you know. And the very spiders. All right. For one web wood icker. Be careful. See, so now you got to go get a whole bunch of stuff. Where's Where's homie? Homie's over here, right? Was he over here, or...? Or was he outside the building? He may have been outside the building, actually. Yeah. Yeah, because there's nothing popped up here. No. Okay. Oh! Before I forget, I need to sell stuff. The loon be with um, let's sell... That. Sell these. And that. And that. And that. Is there a way to compare? Oh, yes. So if you hold down shift. Okay. Uh, you can actually compare. Okay, well, I can't wear those anyway. Um, yeah, that's fine. Alright. Alright, cool. Thank you. Oh, in peace. oh, there they are. Okay. So you can see that little icon right there, and then it gives you the quest name of who it's for. So, or what uh, quest it's for. Can't get uh can't get swords yet, man. Cool. I'll do the dagger. Webwood. The giant spider is more than I can handle. Deliver. Yes, okay. Must be a nest deep in the shadow thread. Yes. So that's where what's his face was, the big spider. Webwood egg. Okay, and then I can get that tunic. Ooh, 33 armor. Don't mind if I do. Man. Can I not? I can't dual wield yet either. <laughs> oh man. Can I? Oh. I can't wield that yet. Oh, I can't dual wield. Oh, I want to dual wield. Let's see. All right, so uh, see, forty-eight minutes. So in an hour, we got halfway through level four, and we're still in this area. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. All right, so we got to think about this. Let's 
So, Woodland Protector. Okay, Thelmoss. So, Grills and Grill can of infest the area. Oh! Engage these Grills and Grill can. Okay. So, basically, any of the Grill can might have some of that moss on them. Here, I'll kind of head north again. I'll, I'll kind of come this long way. But I'll head north again, just so I can maybe see. Yeah, there's Grilkin. So funny seeing the little. Uh... It's too far away. <laughs> um, look at me, I'm level four, and I'm like, oh, look at this tiny level two. I don't need the spring water. Spring water is the, uh... Mana. I don't need no mana as a rogue. Are you kidding me? I don't need that. Delmas. There we go. Nice. Alright. I'm out of range. This is a good little camp. Good little camp. So, I will say something about playing a rogue. Um, so, my favorite, I think my favorite class in Warcraft just throughout the years might be Druid, just because I loved uh, Starfall back whenever it was so overpowered that you could basically go into a dungeon, not a current level dungeon, but let's say you were level 80 and you went to like a level 30 or 40 dungeon and you just needed materials, you could grab everything out of the dungeon including any mini bosses or whatever and then kill them in one button hit like it was the best it would destroy everything on screen whenever you would get new players and they would run with you and you're like hey you want a power level and you take them into somewhere like that and they're all nervous and then you go and you one shot the entire instance they think you're a god <laughs> they're like what and then you give them a few gold and you're like here you are here you are sir it's like, that's the thing. Gold is worth a ton in vanilla. I think your mount is like 40 gold? 20 gold? 40? Something like that? Which is nothing. You can make 40 gold selling a busted piece of equipment in, that, you know, like the, the economy is so wacky now. Not enough energy. But I love the fact that there's no wild tokens in this. There's no there's no weird stuff that Okay, so we got the mushrooms. A little bit of the film on. That. Cool. Oh wait, one more. What's up, buddy? Not enough energy. Not enough energy. A little sinister strike eviscerate. Love it. Three copper. Oh yeah, I don't need the rope. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. let's see. Broken. Over here, buddy. My skill in throne has increased to six. Not enough energy. Not that. One copper. So now I'm just going to use it more. I'm going to use a stat more to <laughs> increase the rate. There we go. Here's Felmoss. Okay, so that one's done. Now I need Webwood Icker. Moon Petal Lily. So what drops Moon Petal Lily? A new moon petal, which only grow around watery pools. Okay, so now we got to go and find a little lake. Where's the water? Is there some water over here? Oh, I see. Okay, there. Use the old detective clues, you know. Water over here. And that's also where our. Uh, 
Ah, the lily. There it is. Ooh. Then we get the ichor. that now we go get that we have to go in and get the egg right and that way whenever we stack these quests we're gonna turn them in and we should level we should level get up to old level five I need to get close step son fight let's go I'm not doing that. No. No. I don't want to do this stuff. Um, ba 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 ba. I don't have much energy. I need a target here. I think my internet's doing some weird stuff right now. And. Missed him. Got his attention though. Definitely got his attention. I don't have enough energy. I don't have enough energy. There we go. Got that. Got all those. Now I gotta go and kill big spider. Hopefully. Energy. Well, I might actually level just from. Killing mobs. Let me take a look at my XP bar whenever I kill this and see how many I can. Have enough energy. Not enough energy. Oh, dude. Oh my God. No, we're gonna we're gonna level even before we get to the end of this cave. So awesome to see the XP bar go up that high. <laughs> Trust me, later that does not happen as you get further into this. Oh man, some of those some of those levels will take a day. I don't have like a legitimate day of play time. Unless you have friends helping you out, unless you have all that stuff. If you're rolling solo, it will take 24 real human hours to level up sometimes. Maybe even more. Because I think the people that got here very, very quickly uh, to level 60 still had like eight days played. Which, eight times 24, man, how many hours is that? You know, like, unbelievable. Yeah, we're going to go on like three mods. One. See, and this is what I would do. I would just go and I would just uh, kill mobs until I would level before I would turn in quests. Like if I had a stack of quests, um, I would just go and level first. So if I, I had like that much left or so, like three or four bars, I would just go grind mobs. Then what that would do is whenever you would turn in all of your quests at the same time, now you have a healthy head start into that new level. Old school tricks for you. It's not even really a trick, it's just it's just it's what they call quest stacking. There you go. Don't need that. What's up, gangster? Alright. Pretty good XP, man. I don't have enough. I'm actually further along as far as levels than I thought I would be. Um, I don't have the energy. Going into this. But yeah, okay, now you can see exponentially. Way. Way slower already. Like, half as much. You know what I mean? 
But I mean, I would spend days if I needed a few levels to go before I could like join up with a buddy for dungeons or something. I would just grind. I would go somewhere. I would just do this. I would run laps. I would do circles. That's it, man. Like, you put in the time, you know? Which way am I going? See, now what I need to do, <laughs> I need to go to the used bookstore because they have a whole bunch of uh, strategy guides for vanilla, World of Warcraft, and Burning Crusade, and Lich King. I should probably buy all of them. How funny is that, right? Like, I bet it wouldn't match one-to-one, -one, but I could be like, let me grab my World of Warcraft strategy guide. <laughs> I don't have enough. I do have the Dungeon Companion somewhere, that first one they made. Because they made a few of them. Um, but I, I bought that first Dungeon Companion. Enough energy. I'm just gonna come here. I'll never forget the first uh, the first amount of solid money I was making by selling bags. Oh my God! You would have thought I was freaking Hugh Hefner, man. I <laughs> I was beside myself. I was like, Hey, you need a gold? I'll spot you a gold, sure. Cause you know what? I'll just make it back. I'll just have to sell. 30 bags, <laughs> or however many, you know. Um, yeah, I was very much, I like building, the, or like crafting those type of things for my friends. That way they didn't have to buy bags. Um, all right, yeah, there's the head. Gotta kill, gotta kill biggin. Gotta fight on our hands, kids. Gotta sell tickets to this one. So yeah, we're gonna kite these mobs. I don't have enough. Kite these don't mobs a little bit. Alright. Hang over here. Come on. Come on. Oh, there's another one over there. Alright. Let's let's kite Biggin. Let's get Biggin over here. Hopefully he doesn't bring his buddy. Hopefully they're far enough away. If not, I'm dead. Like, just straight up. Not enough energy. Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. I thought this would be harder than it was. Okay. I do remember Hogger whooping everybody's ass. I remember that for sure. I'll take that. Yeah. Sneaky, sneaky. Alright, those are our, uh, jump down here, Boop. <clears throat> fall damage, oh, hey buddy, didn't know you guys res that fast, <laughs> not enough energy, So I probably won't get a level turning these three quests in, but we'll get pretty close. We'll probably get decent. I don't have enough. Two thirds. Unless my math is wrong, which you know, very realistic. Enough energy. I don't have enough energy. This is the exit. I'm not going to. Yeah. Okay. Cool. What's that mean? So slow and steady wins the race on this stuff. Um, it's so funny to just really go back. You can tell now that now I'm just in it. Now I'm back like, oh, what do I need to do? Oh, I need to go over here. And he did. So yeah, it, it's definitely what I remember, how I remember it. Game is very good. Um, this is a great way to experience. A game that kind of, I mean, it changed the world. This, no, this whole market, the MMO market, RPGs in general, were not the same after World of Warcraft. It just changed, this fundamentally shifted the tide on what it meant to make a role-playing game.
Um, and I mean, even the way... Because, because then you had game developers. People that were making games as their full-time job were also super hardcore into World of Warcraft. The perfect example is Luke Smith from uh, Bungie. He's the head creative director, I believe, of Destiny. He was a hardcore WoW guy. Like, hardcore enough that I think if you run AQ40, the 40-man raid, um, there was a amount you could get, but only one person per server could get this thing, and you were considered the Scarab Lord. He was the Scarab Lord for his server. He... It was a main event type thing. Like, he was the one. And he loved that feeling and the fact that he was a Scarab Lord so much. I want to say certain things in Destiny work the same way because of that. He, he knew how impactful it was. He knew how amazing it was. Um, so yeah, if you Google Luke Smith Scarab Lord, uh, you'll see, like, he probably has interviews about it. I just remember listening to Legendary Thread. Um, I used to freelance for 1UP, uh, Ziff Davis, uh, do video game writing and all that stuff. I did journals and blogs and, you know, other writers would retweet it, comment and stuff to kind of help build the community there. Um, that was during the time of Electronic Gaming Monthly and, you know, GFW Radio, Games for Windows Magazine, uh, God, all that stuff. But yeah, Luke Smith was on Legendary Thread, the World of Warcraft podcast, and would talk about it all the time. And he was the most hardcore player on that podcast. And to see him know that he's heading, he, he's the head of Destiny, you know, that's why I, I you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of Destiny because I know it's coming from a place of like, oh, he gets it. That guy, you know, that guy and that team, they get it. They get it. Um, so there's that. Complete the quest. Then we're going to turn in the two more quests, and then I think that's about it, because we, we've been going for a little over an hour. Um, Very well. All right, so we got those. Quest timer. Oh, shit. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Oh, my God. Hold on. Uh, ba 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 Quest timer. What is that? Griffin's antidote? What? What? What's going on? What is it? Oh, do I just not... Oh, okay. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> See, this is what I mean. I'm like, what? What is this? So, is there anything over here? Do I turn something in over here? Or no, 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 no. I... I go to Dolno? Is that right? Yeah, because there's nothing in here. Oh, wait. There you go. See, you just have to have this pop. What's up, buddy? Over here. So I guess I have to get it to somebody Can at a certain time. Assist you? Okay, I need that tunic. Yes. In the highest room, top. Okay. Good night. So now I gotta run up top. I mean, that quest timer is probably gonna run out. But I gotta go visit. What's his face? No, I might get closer to getting to a level than I think. Maybe so. So funny playing this and also playing Diablo 3 at the same time. Because Diablo 3 is chaos. That game is nuts. It's monstrous. But, uh. <laughs> and then this is like sipping, you know, drinks on the beach type stuff, just relaxing. Somebody. It's time for you to seek your destiny. Just change. Just task you must perform. Go to the moon well. Return me a vial of its water. So it's like a tradition thing. <laughs> I can just jump. <laughs> now I could probably just jump on the Battle for Azeroth version because I have mounts and flying stuff and a 
this. I just got my feet. Give me a little heel toe express. Yeah, I feel bad. Uh, I <laughs> I need to like. Oh, oh wait, that's uh. That's, um, Duder. Duder was there. I can't, I won't make it to him. Wait, maybe I can make it to him. Minute 42, let's go. Let's go. Because he was right next to the uh, opening, right? Can I make it? Can I make it? Oh, God, a minute 29. Where is he? Oh, my God. Oh, I don't think I'm going to make it. Oh, I'm sorry, Duder. Dinner. Wait, maybe, maybe, maybe. I can make it. I can make it. Up. I'm running. <laughs> I'm running, dude. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, I got it. I made it. I'm fine. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Shit. Duder! Duder! God dang it! No! Run! Run away! Run away! Right now. Sorry, bro. I just brought more spiders to you. Okay. Greetings. Complete. I like that one. Oh, this. oh, okay, cool. Sorry, man. I almost. <laughs> I almost did you dirty. I almost did you dirty, son. Um. Okay, that one, good. Uh, yes? No. Don't need that. Okay, okay. So I need to go clear that. I need to go get um, that water. Fill that vial. Oh, man. I almost let Duder down. I can't believe that. <laughs> I was like, ah, what's this timer for? Ah, it should be fine. <laughs> That's what I mean. Like, okay, and we need the well. So it's not this water; it's the well. I'll I'll see if it lets me fill this up, but I don't think this is the water that it needs. Yeah. Run this way. Where are we at? Where are we at? Out front? I think they said it's out front. I don't think that's a well. Let's see. They said out front. This is not a well either, but I'm just gonna. Yeah. Uh. Is that out front? I'm just not seeing it. Hmm. It's probably the other way. I bet it's this other way. Come back over here. Yeah, so I don't think that's...
Where the hell? Around the building a little bit. Oh, there it is. Ha! There it is. See, I want to... <laughs> uh, rogues, at a certain level, you get like a thing to where you can run real fast for 10 seconds. That would be very nice to have. But that's what the game is. That's what this is. This is a slow burn, feeling engrossed in the world. Um, you know what I mean? Just... There we go. Filling. Cool. Now let's go return it to Duder. And then I think after that, we'll accept whatever quest he has, and then we'll call it. Um, we'll call it for this. Yeah, this is over over an hour, man. Oh my gosh. Um, so much fun. So many good memories. Uh, there's all sorts of little stuff, like... Oh, just uh, <laughs> completely not understanding how raids work. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, it was actually... I never ran raids whenever they were current because they always like intimidated me. I didn't want to be the person that messed it up for everybody. So I would wait like two or three expansions out. Then I would go run that stuff solo. I would go because my armor is better and I'm stronger than everything. So I would just go. And it was also a really fun way to do the achievement grinding um, because you could still get that stuff. There's certain ones you couldn't. You have to bring some people with you because there's maybe switches you need to stand on. Um, that was more a thing in like Burning Crusade and Wrath of the Lich King, um, especially in like Mists of Pandaria. I remember that, but uh, yeah, it was always fun. I am curious now. I wonder how it's going to work. Will I still be able to go and like solo old raid content now that they've squished the levels? I think so, just because my my gear is way better. It's like Guild Wars. It's like yeah, stuff might be your level, um, but you're so infinitely more strong than they are that it doesn't matter. Which is cool. That's fine. Normally I hate number crunching like that, but with this it makes sense. Um, bam. Cool. Great way we hit level 6 while turning it in. That's a good place to call it. So seek out Corethrus. We'll find him at the moon well. Okay. Follow the road south. Continue to follow the cobblestones. Um, as the roads turns west. So yeah, they're telling you the directions here. When you stay on the roads, though, there are dangerous beasts. They're partially filled. Good luck. Okay. So yeah, we're going to call it right here. Um, let's look at our boy. Let's get a good peek. You know what I'm saying? There he is. What's up? His name would have been Icewind. That's, uh, but it was already taken. So, you know, it is what it is. Can't live with it all. But, uh, yeah, man. Oh, this is the game that I spent years of my life playing. Let's let's do this. How long have we played? Total time played, 1 hours, 12 minutes, 29 seconds. You know what? Actually, before we call this, before we call it, let me uh, exit game. Let me exit game. I'm going to exit now. Let me do something real quick. Standard World of Warcraft. Let's hit play. Very, very fast. I'm not going to play any. Um, <laughs> I just want to show you all. <laughs> and mine's not... My, my time played's not a ton, actually. It's not... Uh, yeah, look at that. Good lord. Um, See, so yeah, I still need to buy Shadowlands, but uh, hey, here's my... But... I did um, do a name change. It was Icewind, and I wanted to change it to Frostwing. Here's the OG. That this is this is Duder I've played since since launch. Um, look at him. Look, he looks all grizzled now. You saw he's so young faced, but now look at him, dude. This dude has some stories to tell. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um. Let's enter the world. Look, everything's just massive and crazy and like... 
because yeah, Legion's the last one I bought. So I'm excited to kind of go through the uh, Battle for Azeroth content. Like I want to see the story stuff. I want to see that stuff, man. God, even the songs are more like in your face, galloping rhythm, you know. It's so funny, man. It really is. Ah, I should paint something like this. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm seeing now. I'm like, hey, I wonder if I know who painted this. Um. Yeah, I should totally do something like this. That'd be fun. Just do some craziness, get all my characters, put them all in here. Your talents have been reset. Yeah, look at this. What's new? Bam, bam, oh. All right. Death Rising, yeah. Look at her boy. Look at that, man. Innkeeper. And now there's like quest tracker stuff over here. This is with no add-ons turned on, by the way. Um, yeah, I don't have any of my talents, but look at that. Look at my old Sinister Strike. Um, I think Eviscerate's gone, but... Uh, everything's so... different. I mean, you can tell it's the DNA of the game, but like, look at how much movement and motion and leaves fall in, and it's a different animal now, man. And then like get on our mount, bro. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, man. So, this is what becomes of our good friend, Kami to Hobo. He turns into Frostwing and he gets some badass shit. Look at that. Um, let's do this. Played. Total time played 55 days, 9 hours, 17 minutes, 1 second. Uh, so what's that? Um, 2, 124 hours... Um, yeah, man, a lot of time. Uh, time played at this level, three hours, three minutes, 49 seconds. Uh, oh, damn, I'm about to level, dude. Wait, what? Wait, I need one kill to level? No. What? Hold on. Is that true? Why did I stop playing right there? Hold on. What you doing, buddy? Actually, I should probably roll talents first. Um, I'm gonna try this. I'm probably gonna die. That's fine. Yeah, I'm probably gonna die. Not gonna go well. Um, oh no, I'm okay. I mean, this is not smart at all. But uh, oh shit, he's calling for backup. Bro, bro. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Yay! And we got to level 42. Can you believe it? We went from level 1 to level 42 all in one stream. That's amazing. <laughs> Why did I stop playing right there? Huh. Anyway. So yeah. Um, and, and see my combo points still there. They even look different the way they're displayed. So uh, they go from one mob to another. So they just save up. Yeah, they go away after time limits. I see. So, that's it. Um, that is Warcraft, man. World of Warcraft. Love this game. Um, glad I'm back. A lot of fun. Um, yeah. Hit me up in the comments. If you want to play, I'll share my Blizzard uh, friend code thing, whatever. Um, we, can, we can rock out, man. If you're brand new to it, I can run you through some content. Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So much fun. So many memories. Here's to 15 years. And you know what? Warcraft, here's to 15 more. Big toast, big shout out to Doug and Peyton, um, the OGs, man. Uh, we rocked it out back in the day. Uh, this one's for you fellas. But uh, all right, we'll, we'll talk to you guys later. We'll see you soon. Peace.